The new wave of music is kind of heading in a slightly darker direction. The new record is, uh, she's good. Pretty fast and furious. I mean, most of the songs like are over in like two minutes. She'll fucking come out of the speakers at you and listen to your headphones or whatever. Probably the most punk thing we've done. She's aggressive, she's in your face. It's edgier, um, it's, you know, uh, I dare say a bit more political in some parts. Well, this bunk is mad because it's like just DIY, which is what we're about. You know, we don't use proper recording studios and all that because it sounds too good in those yeah, places. Yeah, it sounds too sterile yeah, in those yeah, places. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Yeah. Record, there's no distractions here. Like, nah, I don't even nah. have bars on my phone. Nah. Yeah. I'll good prove good it. I'll prove it. No, there's two bars there at the moment, but normally yeah. I don't they have come any bars. And go. <laughs> You're amidst a war bunker, World War II bunker. And it was a real bunker during uh, World War II. But it never got used. Yeah, the war never came to Australia, so it's just a big hole in that tunnel. Brought in heaps of amps and shit. Cozy yeah. as. We've got a, co a kettle here. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's been really focusing um, his, his lyrics and his poetry and it's, it's shining through and it's actually reflecting on the music. It's a lot darker and more aggressive. Can I just do, so I like that double, do you guys like the double? After we finished in the studio the first day, we went and got some pizza. And in the car park afterwards, we could, I came up with like a, an idea for a song called You Work For Us. Uh -huh. She howls, she howls like a wolf. Oh! <laughs> Full moon last night, yeah. rode it in the car park. I didn't really like it at the start, um, but then we, we just started riffing on it a bit and like Todd came out with the guitar line in his head and like started singing it. And Will was mouthing the bass part and Luke was, you know, physically doing the drums and I was kind of like writing the vocals on the spot. Funnily enough, I think it's probably one of the strongest songs on the on the record. And it was written in the car park of the pizza house. It's actually got a great got great pop sensibility to it too, you know, it could actually somewhere down the line get an aria nod. We don't want an aria. JB's got a routine, uh, he does it every time we hit the studio. You know, like a lot of musicians, likes to get in the zone. No one really knows that much about what his process is. I tend not to ask. Whatever he does, we don't know, but it works. He goes away for a few hours, comes back, usually gets it done in the first couple of hits, if not the first hit. he would just come back and just, he'll smash it. Bark like a fucking dog. Cottage. Oh, that's where we're that's where we're staying at the moment. Um, it's just a room with a bunch of beds in there. It's about 10 minutes away from the studio. It's basically where we sleep. Three beds uh, in a room. Nothing fancy, no frills. But um, got a couple of beds. Obviously not enough because I'm sharing with Jamie. But I mean, yeah, it's like a school camp, you know. And we stay up really late and um, there's you know no rules at all, and, and that's you know it's, it's a great thing. Is there a cookie dough uh, connoisseur? Yeah, cookie dough. Has that got cookie dough on it? It's got cookie dough. See? Oh, it's been great working with Dean Tuza. He's just, yeah, he's an amazing producer. He just fully understands the process of an artist. It made me laugh outside that one. Really? <laughs> he's got like more than like three different microphones, which is really cool because we get like you can get different sounds. We're just used to like using one microphone 
for everything. We've never worked with a producer before, so it's a new experience for us. Yeah, there's pros and cons to working with a producer. Um, the pros are you usually get a better sound. Um, you know, they know what they're doing. They've, you know, had training and all that stuff. Um, the cons are that they're hard to trust and um, do they really know what they're doing? No breach left to burn. The moment I learned how to film them, I burned them. No cash will I earn. The moment it's fine in my pockets, I'll blow it. Cruiser. <laughs> Cruiser's the, uh, the studio dog. It's a brown dog. Not a big dog guy. Um, I like him. Just wouldn't buy one. Some of us have taken more liking to it than others. Um, Luke fucking loves it. He's pretty dirty and dusty, that dog, but you know, it doesn't stop me giving him a big old hug. Uh, he's, he's wonderful. You know, I love animals and, um, you know, I just kind of met Cruiser and uh, I wish I could take him home and, you know, I can't do that, obviously. It's not that I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's not that I'm scared of dogs, I just don't particularly like them, you know. It doesn't help that I was bitten on the, on the face by a dog when I was a kid. Were you? I was, by Blue Healer named Bluey. You should just be able to see it in the crevice here. Sad story, Bluey ended up choking my peach stone and dying. Not sad for me. <laughs> oh, so we're just setting up to do um, some feedback, some feedback recording, um, just to put in the in, in, in the songs at the beginning and then the end of the songs, just because it's a real part of the punk aesthetic to just like have feedback all through your shit. So. So, um, yeah, I mean, we've recorded before and not used any feedback. Won't be making that mistake again. So, Will, is it weird recording a song without you in your band? Look, look, I don't find it so so weird. You know, maybe it was inspired by that time that I, that I left. But since then, it's changed dramatically. This record is loud, proud, strong, mm. it's like a fist. It's like a barking fucking dog. <laughs> Last time we did it, we just did it on a on Jamie's shitty shitty MacBook, and um, it just didn't work out that well. I mean, like it didn't really get uh, received as well. You'll be able to hear it in the record. Yeah. This is gonna sound like it was recorded in a bunker. Yeah, big metal finger. Yeah, big yeah. punch in a metal finger. Yeah. Yeah. Fist finger. <laughs> Hard as a rock. Yeah. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Mad hard, spicy.